decided to stop by my favorite restaurant where Spencer James works. YouTube, it's your girl Amaya J, and today we are at the Warner Brother lot. Of course, this is the place where we talk about everything acting, everything industry, and everything LA. And today I'm showing my parents a little bit more about my world at Warner Brothers. Let's head into Spencer's job. Okay, before we head in there, we took some pictures in the very entrance of the tour. This is what it looks like when you first get to the Warner Brothers tour. There's like a water tower that you can take pictures by. And then I'm a huge fan of All American. I'm fully on manifesting that I'm going to be on that show one day. And I took pictures of Roots because I didn't know that Warner Brothers did that. Even though I'm there all the time and I completely work there so yeah as i mentioned i do work at warner brothers and the reason i'm taking you guys on this tour is because we cannot videotape anything and show it to you guys on youtube unless we take the tour so i took this tour for you guys directly here on the lot uh you're a fan of clint eastwood you may not know that he is also despite an accomplished director and actor he's also an accomplished musician composer mm -hmm. Daffy Duck back to the Batmobile into the water tower, dumping water all over Jenna Elfman. The director demanded a stunt double. Jenna said, absolutely not. I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, get, take a selfie. It's a great picture of you yeah. guys. I obviously know a lot of this stuff about Warner Brothers, but I was just happy to take my parents there so they could see what I do. Pineapple juice in her hand. Walking around like she owns the place. She's <laughs> this is personally one of my favorite spots on the lot. We have our own movie theater. A lot of people don't know that, but we have private screenings. Oh, here. <gasps> this is our theater. Now, coming up on the right is our first uh, back lot. This is our brownstone back lot. This mm -hmm. has been here since the studio it used to be called First National Pictures back in 1932. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a clip from when I went to go see King Richard at the movie theater at the private screening. It was so much fun. I want a gift basket. If you're looking at this street and it looks familiar to you, this is because this is Beverly Hills in the show All American. So when you're watching All American, it's not really filmed in Beverly Hills. It's filmed right here on this lot. This is us walking All into American. the restaurant where Spencer James you know works. Um, yeah. I've been in here like a lot of times, you guys, because, again, my favorite show, Manifesting being on that show, shooting my shot, you know, and, yeah. Okay, welcome to a practical set. What is the first thing you notice about this set? There are no ceilings on this set because it can get hot really, really fast with so many actors working in here. Okay. Walk outside of that set, here's the theater where Joey was in the episode of Friends. Speaking of friends, we're pulling up to the iconic fountain where they shoot their theme song of Friends, and everybody's going to get out and take pictures right here. To be honest, my mom didn't like any of the pictures we took on this couch, so this is a picture from my first day of working here. Here's a closer look of the fountain if you wanted to see it. These are the sound stages where a lot of this stuff films, so as we're riding through here, you'll see two and a half men plaque, you'll see the friends plaque, you'll see all the plaques fun fact for anybody who goes on this tour which is something that i found out all america is my favorite show which i've mentioned a bunch of times on this video already but the sound stage that all american is filmed on actually was the sound stage that the jamie fox show was filmed on which is one of my favorite shows ever stage 20 is prepping for the secret lives of college girls mm -hmm. Now, I love Bar Parts of Shula because one of my favorite supporting actresses in it, Bernie Watson Johnson. Two and a half men. <laughs> now, here is a closer look at the dedication this plaque. Your show, this is one of my favorite ones. This is where we did uh, <laughs> stage 28 and 23. I cannot discuss. Mm -hmm. But I think they're almost finished. No, they're not finished. No pictures. 
and is where we make fake brick, rock, and stone walls for film and television. On an average day, there are two to three hundred people here at the mill. Right, this way. Fun fact before we get to stage 16, Warner Brothers actually has a bank, okay? Right, it's like its own little society. Of stage, 16. Mm -hmm. stage 16 became the tallest stage in North America in 1936 while filming King and Mabel, starring Clark Gable and Marion Davies. Davies felt the stage should be taller to fit more elaborate sets. Workers painstakingly raised the stage 30 feet off the ground with hand cranks to reach its current height of 98 feet. Do you recognize this building? That's right, it's Love's Bakery from the show You. Now, uh, Billy watches Link Christmas. Okay, jump over here to your right. Okay, Billy, you know what you're doing? Right here. Yeah, jump over here to your right. Okay, now jump to Latham, Massachusetts. Ring a bell? Okay, imagine Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer are poking fun at a guy getting carjacked. This is the last episode of Seinfeld. We broke the Good Samaritan law. Next door is your alibi room from Shameless. Mm -hmm. And on the end is the apartment is uh, Trump Hess's apartment from the Mega Man. This is supposed to be Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Now, Midwest has got two special uh, practical sets. City Hall behind you mm -hmm. and the church. The church. The reason why they're so special is they have three entrances. If you ever watch Full House, this is the house from Full House, the prop set, because we couldn't film in San Francisco anymore because the owner of the house got so annoyed with people coming there. How cute is this picture of me and my mom? I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. Right here, we got to go into the sound stage of All American Homecoming, but we couldn't take you guys inside because that is a closed set. Okay. You guys, we're going into... I got all busted. Oh, this is one of my. This is my one of my favorite movies ever, you guys. This is the best one. Is my favorite. Bump that. <laughs> Take my picture. As you can clearly tell, we are more fans of Space Jam, the first one, not the second one. So yeah, this is my dad with Michael Jordan's costume. This right here, best show on TV, best cast, nicest cast you ever want to meet. Is that we provide the director with choice, not of dresses, not of sets, and not of lenses, but of Look at all the old scripts. That pal I put in. And look at the roles and look at the This is my for all of my actors. This is what they go through when they're trying to cast a show. This is how they put us on board. And the screen test. And it was I mean, there wasn't any questions. And someone gone and looked at me. She might have been there. My parents got a chance to eat at Central Park Cafe where they have some of the most amazing cheesecake you'll ever eat. Then we took this amazing photo on the original friend's couch from the TV show. How cute are we? Okay, so this is not from the tour that me and my parents went on. This is from my first day of working at Warner Brothers. And I just wanted to show you guys how cool it was. We got to actually do a voiceover for one of the shows we got to pick. And of course, I picked All American because, like, I'm telling y'all, one day I'm going to be on this show. And I just wanted to, you know, get a feel for doing the scene. So I had a good time doing this. And you get to go in the booth and do it yourself. So, yeah. Okay, 
So how about tonight? I got a dinner at home. Okay, so after. And I don't take a note for an answer either. See you tonight. Okay. Catch me. <laughs> So how about tonight? I got a dinner at home. Okay, so after. And I don't take no for an answer. See you tonight. Catch me. Catch me. Catch me. So this is the last part of the tour where we go to where all of the awards are. Fun fact, this is actually my screensaver and it will be until the day that this actually happens in real life for me. Yeah.